Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of Boxy Charms Boxy Luxe. So if you guys don't know what Boxy Luxe or Boxy Charm is, Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription service and it is $25 a month and you get about four to five full size items in the box. But every three months they do upgrade. You do have to pay an additional $25 and you upgrade and then you get boxy luxe so boxy luxe is um, I think it's nine to ten I believe I'll leave the correct information on the screen but I believe it's nine to ten full-size items and then you pay the $25 and then you also do pay another $25 so you can get the boxy luxe so I love boxy charm I love boxy luxe so I'm super excited to open up this box with you guys I already did take a peek just so I knew what to put on my face and what to uh, skip so I'm super excited I'm gonna be testing out a lot of new products but if you guys are interested in boxy charm or boxy luxe you cannot have a boxy luxe with Without boxy charm so you do need to be a boxy charm member to upgrade to boxy lux um, I feel like I've been saying boxy lux and boxy charm so much but basically I'm going to leave a link and a code down below so if you guys are interested you could definitely use my link or code it is a commission code so I just want to put that out there I do get some points with that before we jump into that portion of the video I just want to ask you guys to please consider subscribing to my channel if you like what you see and giving this video a thumbs up if you do like it and and without further ado, let's jump into this video, guys. All right, I am so excited to see. I love Boxy Lux. This is literally like one of my favorite boxes to get. Boxy Charm, I feel like I'm always like, eh, it's good. But Boxy Lux, I feel like always just knocks the ball out of the park. This is the last one for 2019. So I'm super excited. So there are a lot of goodies in here, y'all. So first, I'm just going to take everything out of the box, which is what I normally do. And then we're going to go ahead and test out what we can. So for Boxy Lux, they do have a little sheet and it does have a breakdown of what is in here so the theme for this month is whimsy okay so my camera has been giving me issues lately so I really apologize if the lighting is off I don't know what's been going on but first things we have is this Elmis Pro collagen facial oil this retails for $79 this one product is worth this whole box like I paid 50 bucks for the box and this one product is more than what I paid for the box so that is awesome so this is a luxurious and lightweight facial oil infused with a precious trio of rose extracts to help smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles leaving the skin with a luminous glow I love using facial oils I love using them at nighttime though just because I don't like my face to appear super super oily because um, I am oily and usually serums just make me look a little bit more oily than I already am next thing I have this is a Kat Von D dagger tattoo liner ooh I've actually never used this one so this retails for $20 so experience effortless winged liner looks with an innovative eyeliner specially engineered for easy application in any eye shape making the dagger tattoo liner ideal for all makeup junkies ooh let's see so obviously I'm not gonna be using the oil today but I'm gonna be using a lot of the makeups and stuff so this is what it looks like and then let me show you guys oh that looks really cool it literally just looks like a slant if you guys could see that looks so darn awesome oh my gosh I'm excited to test that out next thing I have this is the in beauty power up dial phase setting face mist okay this retails for $32 wow this energizing face mist is a pick-me-up you need to get throughout the day and night special biphase formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it get ready to power up formulated with our even outcome complex which helps the look of redness blotchiness hyperpigmentation dark spots and dullness naturally colored and scented with energizing aromatic from plants what oh that's cool this glow hydrates and energizes 
so it helps to set makeup energize and revive skin it filters away dull tired complexion and stressed out complexion use under makeup to prep skin over makeup to set your look and throughout the day to refresh in tired skin that is so cool this looks awesome this i'm so excited for i think this was a choice too was this a choice? No, I think this was a choice. I don't even know, but I'm really excited to test this one out. This is the QMS Lip Line Corrector. This is a lip serum. I've never heard of a lip serum, and I'm super excited to test this one out. So this retails for $200. What? $200? Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what this bad boy can do. Formulated exclusively for the upper lip area, Lip Line corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles this high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother youthful appearance what like how do you use it there's like no directions on like how to actually use it i guess just like put it on your lips but it says upper lip area like here but i want to put this on all my lips can i just put it all over we're gonna test that out i'm actually gonna try that because i don't have any lipstick on next thing we have this is the siate london marbled light illuminating blusher Ooh, so i've actually been super interested in like illuminating bronze blushes and stuff that's just because i want my skin to have that nice healthy glow even though i am pretty oily packaging looks really pretty and ooh, that's a really pretty color all right so this retails for 26 dollars add a radiant flush of color to your complexion with a marbled light illuminating blush formulated without any talc this lightweight buildable formula has a blend of matte pigments and finely milled illuminating particles that feels really soft that looks really really pretty that looks really pretty it looks very light especially for like me but it looks really pretty so i'm excited to go ahead and test this out then i have ooh, a Too faced melted matte liquefied lipstick i'm super excited to test this out because i love their lipsticks so this retails for 21 dollars. it is long wearing it is matte and it has really good staying power and a very intense color i got mine in the shade cool girl Ooh, that is a pretty nude i really really like that color that looks really gorgeous all right then i got i'm so excited to test this out because i've been hearing amazing things about this and i actually want to go ahead and buy this and uh i'm happy i didn't because i'm super excited to try this out this is the fresh soy cleanser this retails for 38 dollars this gel formula for all this gel cleanser for all skin types has a cult following for the way it removes makeup even mascara without drying for soft supple skin it's made with amino acid rich soy proteins calling cucumber extract and balancing rose water sensitive skin it also soothes and tones i'm so excited to test this out oh my gosh of course i can't use this today but i'm really excited to test this out and then as always if there are products that i haven't used today and you guys want to see an in-depth review on it just leave me a comment down below and i can definitely um do a little uh blog post for you guys about that this one oh the ritual of sakura sensational foaming shower gel it is made with organic rice milk and cherry blossom that is interesting i don't think i've ever used a foaming shower gel so this retails for 950 give your skin a gift of new beginning with the foaming shower gel from the ritual of sakura featuring the renewing scent of cherry blossom and organic rice milk it uses a unique technology to tra to transform the gel into a silky soft cleansing foam lather up and luxuriate in the rich and fragrant foamy soap taking a moment to slow down and renew your energy i'm super excited to try this i've never used a foaming Ooh, it smells good this one's really good. I've never used a foaming um, shower cleanser before. I mean, I usually use like Dove or whatever, so I'm really excited to test this out. This, how adorable is this? This is the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics. And the packaging is like super bulky, so I don't really love the packaging. But you do get a large mirror, and then look at this color story. That looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. That looks so darn beautiful. I'm not even going to lie. I really wanted to play with the blues today. But I don't think blue in this color is really going to go. So I wanted to play with the blues so bad. I have not done a blue eye look in like forever, y'all. Forever. So this retails 
um, for $55. Wow. All right. So inspired by the classic tale, the storybook palette was created exclusively for BoxyCharm and is a beautiful and is beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside. We've combined stunning metallics, velvety matte eyeshadows to help create a look for your happily ever after. So let me go ahead and do some math over here. This box has a retail value of $480.50. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Let me finish off the face because I have a bronzer. All right, so let me add in some of this blush. This looks so darn beautiful. I'm just gonna tap my brush in here, tap off the excess, and then just put this on. I actually have the Jaclyn Hill, the Lou, uh, the Doomy powder on, and this actually looks really pretty together. Ooh, this is a really pretty blush. And like on top of that Doomy, that looks really pretty. I feel like my skin looks really fresh and like healthy right now. That looks really, really pretty. I really like this color. Yeah, I definitely like this. I definitely have that healthy looking glow right now and it's not emphasizing the texture that i have going on like i have a lot of texture like right in my cheek area and i feel like it's really not emphasizing it that's usually what i was always afraid of like i used to hate any blush that had any like illuminating to it like hourglass hated it but now i feel like I've been liking that a lot more and I notice that this doesn't emphasize my texture. Um, the hourglass one doesn't emphasize my texture. I remember I used to get like samples of the hourglass and I would try it on and I would be like, oh, I don't know if I like this. Like I look oily, like it doesn't look right, but now it just looks really healthy. My like my preferences had definitely changed, but that looks beautiful. I really like that. So let's put this on. I mean, it doesn't have any directions on like what you're supposed to do so let's just try it out i mean i'm always gonna wipe it off before i put on my lipstick but let's see i'm just gonna take a little pump and i guess just apply it all over my lips all right i give up i'm gonna email box charm about this because 200 dollars product i should not have to try to take it out that much yeah, I think there's something wrong with my pump because that is all that came out and it literally only came out after I shook it like that. I'm gonna have to email BoxyCharm because there's something definitely wrong with this. Ooh, that feels definitely really like oily. It's kind of high on the outside. And my lip contours, which is down here. So, I applied a very, very little amount because nothing came out, but we'll deal with that after all right let's go on to the eyes let me take this shade right here which is the shade woodland and let me apply that oh and there's really not there is kickback it's just it's not too bad if you guys could see it is very powdery so just make sure to tap off the excess let me run that in the crease and if that is too light then we're gonna go ahead and put that all over the lid okay so it is pretty light it is adding like a little bit of dimension but let's just run that all over the lid okay let's try this shade right here and that is the shade spindle i'm gonna take the same exact brush and let's see let's run that into the crease okay that looks better that is definitely more pigmented. The shadows like feel really soft on my eye. Just bringing that downward so my eye has that little triangle shape on the edge. It's pretty pigmented. Like, let me go in with this shade, which is the shade Chorn. I think that's how you say it. I'm just gonna take that and then focus that first on the outer portion of my eye, just to get a feel for like how intense that is. Ooh, that looks pretty though. I'm gonna put that right in the crease and then just a little bit below the crease. Really like that. All right, so let me take a flat brush. This one is just from Pixie, it's their EO1. I wanna go in with this shade right here. And it looks like I like swatch it, but I promise I did not swatch this, guys. I don't know why it's looking like that, but let's see how that looks. 
and this brush is not wet or anything that looks pretty actually i always like to test out eyeshadows without wetting them first just to see how they really work for themselves basically and truthfully i do like this large mirror i just wish the palette itself was a little bit thinner because it's really thick like storing this i don't know how i'm gonna store this because this is really really thick and it looks like a book i kind of wish that it did open up on like the back and that it would be like blushes or like bronzers or something i feel like that would make this look even more bomb i like the packaging it just isn't super realistic for me no i know some people love stuff like this but i do keep all of my makeup in like alex drawers so i'm like okay my alex drawers can't fit this like how is this gonna work so i'm going to take this shade right here which is the shade rim and it's like a really pretty like cranberry color i'm just gonna start off with a little bit and i just, just want to deepen up that outer v for a little bit of dimension i'm not even applying like a ton of pressure i'm just lightly tapping into this i want to dip into this really pretty shade right here this is a shade enchanted and i'm just using a luxie mini flat angled and i want to pop that on my brow bone Ooh, that looks pretty this one i feel like you could definitely wet it and just get more color payoff but i don't mind how subtle it's looking right now i want to pop that in the inner corner let me apply the grim shade right pressed up against my lower lashes just on the outer like third of my eye and then we're going to take my pencil brush and we're going to take the shade Woodland and Spindle. And we're going to blend that out. We're going to bring those two shades all the way on the inner part of the eye. And then just connect it with that outer wing. Not outer wing, but that outer portion of the eye that we have going on. Let me do the mascara. I'm so excited to test this out. This is supposed to be really, really good for helping make wings. So let's see guys. First, I'm gonna do the little line first cause I wanna make sure, kind of just get a feel for this. Ooh, this is actually super easy to use. All right, so these are the best that I could do with this. I have to say, I really like this for making that line. I liked it for filling in the triangle, but for making that tip point, I didn't like it. I felt like it was too thick. It just, it was a little hard to work with because of how bendy it was. It was really difficult to make that nice thin line right at the tip, but everywhere else it looked really, really pretty. So I didn't really like it for that, but let me go ahead and put on some mascara and I'll be right back guys. All right guys, let's finish up this makeup look with some lipstick. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Cool Girl. It might be a little too cool for this eye look that we have going on, but let's see. I love that color though. That is so pretty. That is such a pretty shade. Oh my gosh. I didn't even go in with a lip liner because I really like the applicator of their lipsticks. Like you could see like that's what it looks like. And the lipstick itself isn't really sticky and it's not like thick. So you could really get that nice precise outline without using a lip liner. So I really, really love this color. Definitely going to be using this again. I'm obsessed. Then... I know I have this uh, setting spray right here, but I actually want to go in with the de-slick right in the center of my face because I have been super, super oily. So I want to do that right in the center of my face. I want my makeup to last all day today. So I'm just going to spray really quick, just the center of my face. You guys are probably going to see me doing this a lot more. So what I have been liking doing is I like to use like a mattifying setting spray on like the center of my face and then something not so matte, which would be something like this on the sides of my face. So let's do this. Just shaking this up. The mister looks beautiful. It kind of smells like, to me it smells, it kind of smells like Coke. Like Coca-Cola. 
I like the smell of that. That smells really good. It smells like Coke to me, like Coca-Cola. That smells really good. Let this go ahead and dry. And then I'm going to tell you guys my final thoughts and impressions on everything in this box. All right, guys. So let me give you guys my thoughts and impressions on everything. So let's just go one by one. I'm super excited to test this out. I heard amazing things that don't have any specifics on this yet but if you guys do want a blog post totally let me know even with this one was the fresh soy cleanser this one is the shower gel again don't have any uh specifics on if i like it or not because i haven't used it but super excited to test this out again if you want any uh detailed review on it please let me know i will totally do that for you guys and same goes with the elms i'm super excited to test this out so if you guys want reviews on them specifically, let me know. I will totally do that. But um, this product, I'm a little disappointed. I totally want to email BoxyCharm because nothing was coming out. You guys saw how long I was pumping for, and I probably am going to edit some of that out. So I was probably pumping for a good three minutes, and nothing was coming out. So um, I'm probably going to email them about this because I feel like for a $200 product, it should work. And it really, I didn't get anything out. Um, I the little bit that I did put around my lips I feel like didn't it's the first time I used it it felt really nice it felt kind of oily yeah that's it basically really nothing else to say on that I just wish it worked a little better the lipstick I adore this lip color I feel like it looks beautiful I love it I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot I love these types of tones so really really love this I love the formula of these lipsticks they feel really light on the lips they don't dry out my lips they look beautiful and they're really easy to just get that line you don't even need a lip liner so definitely love this this setting spray I actually really, really like. I feel like it did give me that nice dewy look on my cheeks, but like I feel matte. I really love the color. Um, I really love the scent. It just reminded me of like Coke. So I really like this. Um, I would definitely be using this again in the future. Doesn't give me any sparkles, no glitter, no nothing. It just gives me a nice healthy looking glow, which is what I want on my cheeks. So really happy about this. Liner, I actually like. I feel like maybe I just need to learn to work with a little bit more, but for making that nice pointy tip, I feel like it, it didn't do that. But for making that line, it was really pretty. Um, it's dark black. It's beautiful. It kind of sort of dries down matte, not like super, super matte, but I really like this. I mean, I would definitely use this again for either line. I want to do play with it some more and see if I can get good at doing a wing with this one. So I do like this. Um, this blush I absolutely adore. I love how it looks on my cheeks. It looks stunning. I have that really inner pretty glow. So definitely love this. Definitely am going to use this again. I feel like the color looked really light on my skin, but on my cheek, I definitely was able to build it up for more of a intense color and it looks beautiful. So I really do like this. And then lastly, this, I actually really do like this. I wish the packaging was slimmer because I feel like they could have made the book like this they could have made the book like half the width and it would have done the same amount so I really don't really like the packaging because it's super thick really don't know how I'm gonna store this in my Alex drawers but um it looks pretty like I love the design of it. it looks like a book it looks really pretty so I do like this I am definitely gonna be reaching for this again I really 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 want to play with those blues they are just calling my name they look stunning so definitely like this definitely gonna use this again I feel like the colors are very good and oh I didn't even notice um on top of the mirror sorry don't want to blind you guys but on top of the mirror it says life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale that's actually really cute so I'm really happy about this so overall I really really loved this month's boxy Lux. I feel like they killed it for the price it is amazing I'm definitely gonna call back on this one but, uh, overall I really love everything else I feel like everything is just good I would have I would totally use everything again and I'm super excited to test out the products that I have not been able to use thus far and I'm excited so definitely give a boxy Lux two thumbs up this month I feel like they killed it they did a very good job perfect way to end 2019 but that is it for this video guys I hope that you did enjoy if you did enjoy please give this video a thumbs up also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you made it this far so you can be part of the ATFB fam ATFB all things fashion and beauty and hit the post notification bell so you can get notified of all my future uploads I usually do upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday 3 p.m. EST and that's it guys I hope that you did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in a few days in my next one. Bye!